Utility crews race to restore power to thousands of customers in areas affected by Milton. Jonathan Seri has more on those efforts and the president's visit to Florida over the weekend. It's a massive effort to get the lights back on for 3 million customers who lost power during Hurricane Milton. Thousands of linemen from across the country and Canada are working around the clock, and Florida officials say they expect electricity to be fully restored by Tuesday night. We need to make sure our power plants are intact, transmission is intact, then we have to break it down by customer class. Who are the critical customers? As that wraps up, folks on the state's west coast are cleaning up debris left behind by back-to-back -back hurricanes. Governor Ron DeSantis has directed 2,800 workers to remove debris over the next 90 days after President Biden agreed to reimburse the state 100% of the costs. This is stuff from Helene and this stuff from uh, Milton. But this high. The president visited Florida on Sunday to survey the damage. He says FEMA has already opened 10 disaster recovery centers in the state and more are on the way. It's in moments like this we come together to take care of each other. Not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans. But as the cleanup continues, some communities still face the threat of additional flooding, including in Hernando County, where river levels haven't crested yet. Call for emergency services or call our citizens information line. We will come out there. We are ready to respond and evacuate you. President Biden says initial estimates place damages from Hurricane Milton at $50 billion. In Tampa, Jonathan Seri, Fox 32, Chicago.